Creating and publishing social media posts in the moment no longer works. It's time to schedule your content instead. There are so many different reasons why it's super important to schedule your social media content ahead of time for your small business, your brand, or as a content creator. It's gonna help save you so much time and energy. You won't have to worry about marketing your business on social media every single day. And it's gonna help you efficiently create content through batching. So I'm gonna talk to you today about my favorite social media scheduling app later and give you a quick little rundown of why I use it and give you a walkthrough of how I use it. So what is Later? Later allows you to pre-schedule your social media post with vast majority of them being able to auto-publish, meaning they just go out on your social media channels. It's a place to allow you to collect media and content to then go schedule and allows you to post across multiple different platforms. So Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, and more. This is an app I used to use in my social media agency when I ran a ton of different client accounts on social media and it's still the tool that I like to use in my business today. So before we dive into the walkthrough and tutorial, I wanna give you a few key points about later before you make your decision to use them as your preferred social media scheduling tool. These are a few key things that you need to be looking for in your social media scheduler and obviously why I choose later over all of the other ones but keep this in mind when you are looking for a tool for your business. So number one, they are a preferred partner through Instagram and all of the major platforms. Now, why this is very, very key, there are so many social media scheduling tools out there and not all of them are approved partners or they violate certain terms and conditions of the platform. This is very important to make sure that you are working with a company that has that preferred partner standing because it's gonna make sure that your account doesn't get shut down. So if you find a social media scheduling tool that does all these really cool things, but they are not working hand in hand with that platform, or maybe they are violating certain terms and conditions and the guidelines set by that platform, it could potentially get your account shut down because again, you're not following the rules and neither is that social media scheduling tool. There are a ton of different preferred partners. I know a couple of them are like Buffer, Planoly, Hootsuite, no matter which way you go, just make sure you find a company that is in good standing with all of these different social media platforms. The whole point of using scheduling software is to help you get rid of a ton of other apps and help save you a ton of time. So the reason why I prefer later over a lot of the other social media scheduling tools, there are so many different tools built into that one specific tool that help me eliminate a lot of other apps that I was paying for. So for instance, they have analytics, so I no longer need to pay for an analytics software. They have a link and bio option, so you can get rid of Linktree. They now have a brand collaboration feature, so I can start to get paid partnerships with brands and not worry about all these other softwares that allow me to do so. Again, look at all of the features features and additional tools inside of the social media scheduling app that you decide to use. And the last point that I wanna make specifically about later is that they are always at the forefront of new features and being a thought leader in the social media space. And for me, this is super important because they're always listening to customers. They're always keeping like a pulse on the social media industry as a whole, making sure that we have the education through their blogs, their resources, they even run a conference to make sure that you have access to social media education for your brand and your business or as a content creator, but they're also really trying to step into new features that we need. They added recently a brand collaboration feature. They were one of the first ones to allow auto publishing for TikTok and for Reels now. So again, make sure you're aligning yourself with a tool that is going to help you. So now that we've talked about a couple key features and pros about later, Let's dive right into the tutorial. Okay, so I wanna give you a quick walkthrough of some of my favorite features inside of Later and how I like to use it. So when you first come into here, this is what it's gonna look like. There's a ton of different tools over here, an area to upload your media, and then all of my social media posts. So these were from last week since we are kind of gearing up and scheduling for this week. But basically you can see that I have all of the major platforms that I use up here. So Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. The only thing they don't have is YouTube. Basically what you can do is you can come in here and drag and drop. I'll show you guys this in just a second, but let's say I want, let's say we'll go into here. I want this particular post to go out on all of these different social platforms. Obviously it's not gonna work for TikTok. So I'm just actually gonna remove TikTok cause that's an image, but let's say it was a video. You can keep all of these different ones checked. What I would wanna do is click on it and drag and drop it into the day that I wanna schedule it. You can come in here and write your generic caption that you would want to show up everywhere. You can just quickly write it. Again, there are so many tools and features of like save captions. Like I have all my hashtags here. There are hashtag suggestions, a lot of different things that you can do. 
But before I do any of that, I like to hit customize five posts. So now what I can do is make sure that each of these posts based off of this one piece of content is going to be geared towards that platform. So what I can do is click on edit image. You see how they have some for different platforms. You're going to want to maybe update this image. And instead we're going to do hashtag, whatever. Um, you can come in here and customize it. Use your saved captions, your hashtag suggestions, and it will allow you to see how much you have left. So the character limit on Twitter, I think is 240 right now. If you continue going, like it'll cut you off at where you need to be cut off for these different platforms. Moving into like Instagram, if this was a reel, you could either have it auto publish or send a notification that works for anything. We want this to be a feed post. Let's edit the image to fit Instagram portrait. Um, we would write our caption. Let's say I want to add in that, or I can go up here it's giving me automatic captions based on what I've written here. You can search for different hashtags. You can add a first comment. Like there's so many different things you can do to make sure you are scheduling this post to be friendly with all of the different features in Instagram. Same thing here. We could come in and edit the image, but you kind of get the point. You would come in here and select the board, add this in, add a website. Same thing for LinkedIn. You'd want to come in and make sure that these are created specifically for those platforms. And then you would hit schedule all five posts. You can save it as a draft if you're not ready to make have that go out. Um, but yeah, that's a quick way to go and schedule the same piece of content across social media platforms. And once it's all scheduled, it's going to look something like this. Uh, you can just look and view at one platform at a time if you want to. And that's something super easy to do, but you can see all of the content that I have going out for each of those different platforms. Okay, so next let's dive into how to capture media. There are so many different ways that you can collect content to have it come into later. So my favorite way is just obviously the media library. You saw it on the side there as smaller thumbnails, but you can come in here. There's so many, listen, I could really go into detail about the labeling. I need to update mine if I'm being honest. You can sort by so many different things and really start to create a library of content. You can drag and drop, upload, you can have um, Google Drive, Dropbox, things like that. But there are other ways that you can start to collect content from people that have tagged you, mentioned you, searching by a certain profile and searching by hashtag. These are posts I've been mentioned in, things I've been tagged in. So a lot of this is considered UGC. What you wanna do before using any of this content though, you need to get permission from the creator. What I recommend doing is going, viewing it on Instagram and DMing them like, hey, I'd love to repost this. That is just standard practice and make sure you're not violating guidelines on Instagram. But then you can simply click on this and we'll add it to your library once you have permission from them. So there's so many different ways you can collect content directly from Instagram. They also have the option to go find stock photos and unsplash, or if you're working with influencers or a photographer, a graphic designer, you can actually send them an invite so that they don't have access to all of your later account, but they can literally easily submit all of the visuals that they need to in just such an easy way. Now that we've gone through the two major aspects of what you need in this platform is the scheduling aspect and the media aspect. There are a ton of other different features in here. So conversations. This allows you to do some community management for TikTok and Instagram. Since it's a robust feature, it takes a second to load. And of course with screen recording, but I'm able to look at all of the different comments so that I can start to write back to people. You can look at it in inbox view, meaning these are um, the ones that I haven't done yet. You can look at it via post or via user, like based on this person commented three times. I prefer the post view because then I can just go through and like make sure I'm answering every single comment. And then there's an analytics section, which this this gets super, super detailed for quite a few of the different platforms. You can view so many different things. You can generate reports. This was super important as a social media manager. So I can share this performance report with potential clients that I'm working with. I can share it with people that I am wanting to do collaborations with, things like that. But their analytics software is super robust and you don't need to use any other outside platform because again, those can get very expensive, but these are also a little bit more detailed than the insights you're gonna get directly from Instagram or directly from the platforms themselves. This is such a cool feature. I don't leverage this anymore just based on my particular content strategy and what I like to do, but you can actually get rid of Linktree. Have this again, all inside of later. You can create a link tree, links to your other different accounts. And what you can do is for Instagram and TikTok, each of the posts that you have, you can link it to a particular 
link. So basically like, let's say I have this talking about one product. This is talking about another, maybe this one's talking about my freebie. What would happen is people can then go click on these and go to those links directly. So this is just, again, another feature to help you get rid of apps. And last but not least, they have a way if you are a creator or you are a business owner that's looking to do more brand deals, you can create media kits. You can look at campaigns. You can do all kinds of different stuff. This is a new feature that they've added to their software, but it's super robust. So that's just a quick walkthrough of how I use later. So now that you figured out why and how to schedule your social media content, you might be thinking, what am I even gonna post on social media? Don't worry, I got you. Watch this video where I talk about my five top content creation tips with some really key examples of what you can go and post on social media. I'll see you guys next week and don't forget to hit subscribe.